What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to give you my top 10 plugins for Open Broadcaster software as detailed in the OBS Super User Guidebook. We're going to go over each one, what they do, and then in upcoming videos, we'll detail each one out. So let's get started. All right, so before we get started, I wanna let everyone know you can download the OBS Super User Guidebook in the link below. You can actually order a paperback copy on Amazon. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If we're doing something wrong, let us know in the comments below. Only 10% of our audience is actually subscribed. And if you're new here, we'd love to have a new subscriber. So I've broken down my top 10 plugins for OBS into production, audio, control, and graphics. In production, one of my favorite tools is the multiple RTMP output plugin. Once you install this, you can stream your video productions inside of OBS to multiple destinations, meaning you can stream to YouTube, you can stream to Facebook, you can stream to Twitch, all at the same time. So if you have the bandwidth and computer processing capabilities, you do not need to pay for a cloud service that does restreaming. Pretty cool tool, that will be in production. The next production tool is called Advanced Scene Switching. If you are a one person production and you're trying to do a lot, you're trying to do it all yourself, Advanced Scene Switcher can set up rules inside of your video production to do scene switching and other graphical elements automatically. For example, if a specific microphone turns on, you could switch a scene. So we'll look at that in more detail. Now, Source Docs is an awesome production plugin. What it does is it allows you to dock a source directly in the OBS interface. This allows you to keep an eye on specific sources. For example, if you have a video source or a live camera source, you can actually place the video directly into your OBS interface. And that allows you to keep an eye on it and control it even if it's not in the scene that you are using. Very cool OBS plugin. The next will be Replay Source. And Replay Source essentially gives you instant replay capabilities inside of OBS. What it does is it automatically starts recording a specific source inside of OBS and it kind of caches it for a certain amount of time. You can set a hotkey to go ahead and replay backwards in time 10 to 20 seconds and it features slow motion. So it's very cool, awesome for live sports and live action where you want to go backwards in time. Now NDI is under production. This is one that every OBS super user should know about. It allows you to have access to a ton of IP video tools where over the ethernet, over your network, you can send and receive video from OBS to OBS, other NDI enabled apps, and the whole local area network and wide area network using NDI Bridge. So we'll dig into that in an upcoming video as well. So now in the audio section, we have three awesome plugins and tools that I wanted to, to share. One is called Audio Monitor. And what this plugin does is it adds a filter that you can use to send audio from any source to any destination on your computer. So I've been teaching a lot of folks to use this to send audio directly from a specific microphone into software like Zoom. So if you're using OBS with Zoom, Audio Monitor is a key tool for this, but it also gives you tons of flexibility on where you're sending your audio because OBS by itself has just one audio monitoring output. With this, you kind of get unlimited audio monitoring outputs, a very great audio tool. Now, virtual audio cables are not necessarily a plugin, but they are an essential tool for OBS super users. It's a virtual cable, so it allows you to connect using this audio driver from OBS to any application that uses audio assist devices on your computer. They're available for Mac and PC, and again, it's used a lot for connecting OBS to Zoom, but many other applications as well. And then finally here, I just wanted to note, this is built into OBS, so it's not necessarily a plugin, but VST2 plugins, okay, are already natively supported inside of OBS, and we're gonna take a deeper dive into those in this course. They, they give you additional control over your audio sources. They're added as filters onto audio sources, and they make them sound a lot better. Moving over to control over here, 
Control of OBS is pretty good, right? You've got hotkeys, you've got your keyboard and mouse, there's many devices that you can use, but WebSockets is one that you'll likely come into contact with. WebSockets allows you to send commands over the network directly to OBS, and it opens up a huge doorway for third-party applications and programmers to send controls directly to OBS. So WebSockets is a big one that we want to take a look at. Filter hotkeys is a big one, and I am hoping that OBS will build this in natively. What this does is it allows you to create hotkeys to toggle on and off the visibility of filters. So filters, of course, can be applied to sources and they add effects, right? And it could be a funny effect, it could be a production effect, and filter hotkeys allow you to toggle those on and off quickly with hotkeys without having to go into the filters window and actually click it. So from a production standpoint, that goes under control. And then we have PTZ control. PTZ Optics has a great pan tilt zoom camera control option for OBS that we're going to take a look at and it also has dockable PTZ camera controllers if you're getting into video production or events that will be a great one we'll take a look at and then finally over here we have graphics now one of the coolest graphics ones everyone should know about, about is called animated lower thirds. A lower third, of course, is a graphic overlay at the bottom of your video production. Animated lower thirds is a plugin that gives you a dockable tool to control and really just manage the entire process of having lower thirds that are animated. You can change the titles, put everything you need in. And there's so many people using Zoom or Microsoft Teams that want to add lower thirds and like professional uh, titling into their meetings, webinars, live streams. This is the plugin for you. Move Transitions is one of the most popular new plugins for OBS. It allows you to move things in various scenes in beautiful ways, like merging effects, sliding effects, whether you want it to move a scene that has multiple elements that are moving around elegantly over the screen, or you can actually move entire scenes themselves the way that they transition in new and interesting ways. So we'll take a look at Move Transitions. Now, Closed Captions, there's a plugin for closed captions with OBS, but after my research, I found Web Captioner to be one of the best tools for adding closed captioning to OBS. It's actually browser-based, so you actually bring your audio source that you want closed captioning to into webcaptioner.com, and then you basically use a web browser source in OBS to add the overlay. And so it's web-based, it's very low CPU usage, it's very low bandwidth, Great tool, we'll take a look at that in an upcoming video. Then there's background removal, and everyone's raving about background removal. You can remove the background of your video without the need for a green screen. So super uh, important feature there. It's great, you can use it with chroma key, and then you can remove the background. You can add whatever you want without the need for pesky green screens. And then finally, color monitor. Color monitor is a professional color correction tool that allows you to gain access to vector scope, a waveform monitor, and a histogram, professional color monitoring and color grading tools. So when you use the color correction tools inside of OBS, you gain great opportunity to see what's actually going on. And the reason why this is so important if you've got multiple cameras inside of OBS and you're trying to color match them, sometimes your monitor is not the best quality. It's not representing the colors properly. But these color monitors are giving you the actual data on the grayscale, the blacks, the whites, the band of which the colors are happening. So you have a lot more granularity and really just like vision on what's happening with the colors using the color monitoring tool. So you can do a much better job using the default OBS tools for color correction. All right, we're gonna dig into these in our next upcoming video. That is 10 essential OBS super user plugins. We'll see you in the next video where we go over each one of these.